somewhat tutorial on how to make a AI dungeon world. Especially with this new UI, it may be confusing to some people. So first, you go to worlds. Then you click my worlds. You don't have to be a creator or do this either. So, And you hit create world. We have multiple things we can do here. So, first I want to explain this to you. When it says enter a gender, you can do stuff such as not just horror or fancy. Like, let's say I wanted... Let's think of something everyone's seen. A Stephen King world. Stephen King. Probably spell his name. We can just type in Stephen King. And the AI may actually understand that. Um, no, it did not. Let me go ahead and type it again. We type that in, and it'll generate something. The world just... See? Dark Tower series is set. So it generated a world that can be Stephen King. So, in races, you can generate as many as you wish. As many races as you want. I know nothing about Dark Tower series, so I'm just going to hit Generate. If you know what you're doing, you can hit Custom. So we have Humans. I think there were dragons, so we'll type in dragons. So dragon, there are many type of dragons apparently. Now, what happens if we type it? Will it know what it is? That works. <laughs> now, we can Go ahead. Now, the AI is not going to be perfect, by the way. It's near, it'll understand things. It'll put things together. It depends on the training. I am using Dragon. It affects how much world is. World generation does use energy, too. So, move on classes. Generate a class. Gun for hire. We're a mercenary. Okay. So, let's hit generate again. Gunslinger works <laughs> oh by to put these in your world you would hit this circle so let's see if we can choose I'm gonna make a word up the guinea I just made a word up so it'll generate whatever it wants the word to be so orchins who are natural okay so you hit the circle for it to come in Factions is like, what group are you part of? You can be an outsider or something like that. That works. That gives us more info on what they are. Crimson Hawks. Um, so, we can generate another one. Don't want it'll generate replicas sometimes. Like, let's say we wanted to choose a race or a class. Uh, let's choose. I wonder, can it. Does this count as a race or class? Our race, human like beings who have. Okay. So this is a Stephen King universe. Now, you can generate an unlimited number of locations. I may want cottage. We have Midworld. We have Oaks Onyx Hotel. So you can generate any of those. Now, in summary, this is important. You can do multiple things, like if you, it's not safe for work, you can flag it as that. If you want to publish it, you can do that. Now, adding world info is interesting. You can add characters and other from here. Now, with characters, you can add stuff such as... I have some stuff from my Lovecraft world. Um, I'm going to add Gandalf. And Jonah Kinchin. I can also add some artifacts from my other worlds. Like, the, I have a ton of Lovecraft stuff, so bear with me. Um... I also have a ton of Glorthana stuff. Um, so, let's add Harpbrook. 
and Oaken Village. Now they're going to be in this world. So it's, you can't spawn at them though. If we generate a narrow location, Dawn Bridge, it'll generate that. If we Now, if you're not happy about what thing you came up with, you can always come back here and type in a narrow one. Like, let's type in Stephen King again. You can gen see if the AI will generate an R piece for that world. It just generate Orchard again. Okay. But if we type in, let's say, delete. You delete stuff by X, but that's not working. Um, let's say we wanted... Let me let me think. Trees. Would this even count as a genre? I don't know. Genre. It'll generate something according to that gen genre. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Oh. I'll come back and look. Hope this has been helpful for you. If you want to play this world, I'll just publish it right here. I've read those tons of times because I read quite a few. And if you want to play this world, it'll it's about to show the link. You can tap this link and play it. So hope you enjoyed.